Hey hunties and hunkles, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Latoya forever, and I'm here with my beautiful mommy. Hey hunties and hunkles. And in today's video, we are going to be cooking one of our favorite mm. Caribbean dishes. What are we cooking today, mom? A bubble in a pot of stewed chicken. Yes. Yes. Stewed chicken. Oh my God. Because today's video is in partnership with Kitchen Aid. Now, you know, I have a large family, and the cooking process takes up this entire kitchen. I usually leave the cleanup process for my mom. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, I, yeah. I know. Uh -huh. I run out the kitchen every time because it's just a hot mess in here. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we were able to cut the cleaning process to just 10 minutes using the KitchenAid Free Flex third rack dishwasher. Let's jump right into the video because I'm so excited to bubble up the pot with mama. Woo, can't wait, can't and show wait. you guys our favorite recipe so you can try it at home. Let's jump into the video. You guys, ever since I got the KitchenAid Free Flex third rack dishwasher, the cleanup process has been a dream, and mom could vouch for that. 100%. Okay. Absolutely, girl. Yes. The third upper rack can fit everything from utensils, mugs, to serving dishes, and it actually has the largest third rack available. Okay, I'll tell you more about it later. But without further ado, let's jump right into our stewed chicken. chicken. Okay, hunties, so we are. What are we doing? We're going to explain the ingredients. Right, 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 okay, okay, hold on, mom. So, here are all the ingredients that we use for our stewed chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let my mom take the lead here because this is her specialty. So, we're going to start off with fresh thyme. Yep. We always have to use fresh, you know, seasonings to season the chicken. We, of course, have vegetable oil or olive oil. You can use either or. And then we have onion powder, black pepper, garlic salt, fresh garlic as well, half an onion or so, brown sugar, some pure butter. I like to use a little piece of butter in it to make the gravy taste real sweet and good. Um, seasoning salt, vinegar, and wash the chicken. And also, you can also use white sugar. If you don't have any brown sugar, you get brown, white sugar. It tastes real boss as well. Um, some parsley. Ketchup for the gravy, fresh garlic powder, and Himalayan salt. Yeah! Okay, honeys and hunkers, you want to season up this stew chicken and make it taste real nice. So we're gonna start with black pepper. I don't really measure. I just no. put accordingly to cover every piece, and then I'm gonna mix it. Onion powder, all right, with some onion powder on there. Woo! Can't wait to taste this way. Some garlic salt, here we go. The garlic salt's on there, we call it bait in the top with garlic salt and ching the babas. <laughs> and then we put in seasoning salt. And then all you know exactly what that is for my sweet chicken, right? Yeah. And I have some parsley, I like to put in there for color and thing and flavor, all right? And then I have the Himalayan salt I put in there, I have to grind it, so just bear with me here. Mmm, smells so good! Smells so good already, yeah, Toya? Real nice. And usually we like to marinate it for about an hour. Yes, or longer. Yeah. You can. Here we got some garlic powder we're gonna put on top. Garlic powder on top. It looks like a lot, but when you mix it up together, it all blends in evenly, okay? And then I squeeze a little bit of ketchup on there, shake it up a little bit, and one, two. That's a nice, beautiful gravy. Some fresh garlic. Mince up already. I do like one squeeze so. And then I put my thyme in here. I have a lemon here because I wash my chicken first with lemon and vinegar, okay guys? So make sure you wash your chicken. All right, wash it real good. Kick off all these slime and thing on it and all the fat comes right up to the front and you just take it off. I cut off the bamsi. I don't eat the bamsi at all. <laughs> that have to go. Let's just talk about the fresh thyme. Okay, here. fresh thyme is still, it smells so good. We're gonna put the onion, I cut up about Half an onion, a little bit more. Cut it up and put it on top like that. All right. Are we ready to bubble up the pot? Okay, so now, we're gonna take the pot spoon and we're gonna mix it together. Look at that. So you have to put your hand in it and get your hand on the scene or whatever. All right. And there you have it. Let's do chicken right there. There you go. So we're gonna take extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna put one third of a cup in the pot. 
the Dutch pot, yes. Turn the stove to a medium high. We're about to brown the sugar. Let's make sure my hair doesn't get on fire, y'all. <laughs> Okay, hunties, now we're gonna take half a cup of brown sugar and we're just gonna spread it into the olive oil and we are just going to caramelize it and make a nice paste to brown the chicken. It takes about seven minutes to really brown and caramelize the sugar to brown the chicken. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that heat up. Now it's time to add the meat. You ready? Ready! Yeah, yes. I recommend you putting it in the pot with your hand. Use a pot spoon or something and take your time. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and coat the chicken with the brown sugar. It's nice and caramelized. We're browning the meat right now. Ooh, 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 it smells so good. Wow. Yes, Hansi, yes. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the stew chicken cooking for about 30 minutes. And I'm also boiling some hot water because I'm gonna add that hot water after 30 minutes into the pot so we can get a nice gravy because I love gravy on my rice. For those of you that have a very busy week, you know, with going to work, whatever appointment you have to go to, and you wanna come home and bubble up a pot of brown, uh, stew chicken you could also use browning. It's a substitute for brown sugar So you can actually use browning instead of brown sugar. Yeah, but you know my mom loves using brown sugar And I feel like it tastes the old Trinidad, Trinidadian way is the best way the original way is the best way Okay guys, so it's been about 30 minutes. I went ahead and turned up the stove just a little bit it's between medium and high, like just in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of boiling hot water, just so I can make sure that we have a lot of gravy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some ketchup to make our gravy nice and thick. Right, mom? Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some ketchup. Yes, yeah, come on. Yes. You know what you do when you get mm -hmm. done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Satisfy that appetite. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and stir it all. Right, up. yeah, Hold yes. Woo! I'm the new Caribbean mm -hmm. chef around mm -hmm. here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir in the ketchup. Make the gravy nice and thick and flavorful. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna add about a teaspoon of butter to the stewed chicken. Here you go, guys. We're just gonna add it in there for nice flavoring in the gravy. So we have the ketchup, we have the other seasonings that we put in here, the garlic powder, the onion powder and all that, black pepper, ketchup, and now we put a little piece of butter in there. Wrap it, getting ready to wrap it. Look how nice that looks, woo! Look at that looks gravy! So mm -hmm. Eh, eh, for the rice. You didn't even have to add no potatoes to that. Look at that. <laughs> Next we are gonna make a side salad using the KitchenAid stand mixer with the spiralizer attachment which I love because it adds a creative touch to all of my dishes. Now, what I love most about the KitchenAid spiralizer is it cuts peels and cores all of my favorite fruits and vegetables. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this cucumber and spiralize it to add a fun little touch to my side salad. Yeah! So I'm gonna go ahead and take this cucumber and place it on the spiralizer and it's gonna add a creative touch to my side salad. You guys ready? Look at that, Hunkies and Hunkos! Go cucumber, uh, uh. Go cucumber, ooh, ooh. Okay, next I'm going to take my cherry tomatoes, add it to the cucumbers, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my red onions. And then I'm just going to go ahead and season it with Himalayan salt. Not too much. And some black pepper. And then my favorite Italian dressing. Ooh. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up. Super easy, right? So good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plate my dinner. So I'm gonna take one cup of jasmine rice. I'm trying to be cute, y'all. Okay. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> All right, Chef Ramsey in the building. 
Oh! Oh! Yes! Next, I'm going to take my stewed chicken, put some gravy first. Yes, look at that gravy. Oh, look at that onion. This is going to be so good, hunties. And I'm going to put some chicken on the top. Okay, some more chicken. Yeah. Oh! It's a waterfall stew chicken, y'all. Then I'm going to take my cucumber and tomato salad. There we go, y'all. My dinner, okay? Two chicken, white jasmine rice, and my side salad. Ooh! Okay, hunties, it is cleanup time, and I'm gonna show you how I'm able to clean up in just 10 minutes. Before I got my hands on this dishwasher, I ran into so many issues, okay? My dishes not coming out clean, having to run the dishwasher multiple times because my dishes weren't dry, and the biggest issue, space. I never had enough space for my dishes. So I decided to take it to Instagram to see if my hunties and hunkles ran into the same issues, and here were the results. Y'all. I am not alone, okay? Okay, so this Freeflex third rack has a deep angled design that fits six inch glasses, mugs, bowls, and dedicated rotating jets to make sure your dishes are clean inside and out. It really gives you more room up top without losing space on the lower rack. So up top, I like to put Aya's bottle accessories up here, like her nipples, her spoons, and all the accessories for her bottles. You can even fit a stand mixture bowl in this middle rack right here and big serving trays in the lower rack. You can truly fit it all in one load. Having the extra space with the third rack really allowed me to spend quality time with my mom preparing our favorite traditional West Indian dish for our whole family without having to worry about the cleanup process. This dishwasher right here is truly a game changer. Be sure to hit the link in the description box below to learn more about the KitchenAid FreeFlex third rack dishwasher. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video, y'all. Bye!